Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learn with Reshu. Today I am going to explain you what is Spring Framework. I will give you a very detailed explanation and an introduction about Spring Framework. So let's start. In to, you know like in today's fast paced world, we need everything to be quick. We don't want to keep ourselves engaged in one work for long time. Uh, let it be think uh, like traveling, shopping, studying or working. When it comes to coding, we want our application to be developed in the shortest period of time, but providing full efficiency. Yes, we may be in a hurry, but still we can neither compromise with our quality or nor we want to put too much effort in it. So what's the solution? Yes, what's the solution for that? Frameworks work the best in this situation. How? Let's look at this. There are various frameworks available out there in our market, am among which few are used like Spring, Hibernate, Struts, etc. Though, in this video, I will give you an explanation of why Spring Framework and why it's so popular in our market. Why we use Spring Framework and why we uh, why it's so popular in our uh, like uh, in the Java platform. So let's look at to the topics I will be discussing in this video. I will be discussing Java Frameworks, what is Spring Framework, why Spring Framework and Spring Framework Architecture. So I will explain you step by step how these uh, Spring Framework works. So first, uh, uh, first I will uh, give you an explanation like why Java Framework, what is Java Framework. So, so uh, we start with this Java Framework. What is first we understand what is Java framework? So let's take an example like we have a friend known as Gopi and Gopi is has been given a task to develop an application but assignment time is not sufficient to finish it. He has to write a lots of line of code by himself. It's very time consuming and tiring. He is confused what he should do and where he should start from. So he start thinking. Uh, he start thinking of a solution to this problem. He needs something that is fast and efficient, saves time and effort, like something ready made. So what will what he will do? So suddenly uh, idea came up in his mind. Java framework. Yeah, I can uh, use Java framework. Framework are fast and efficient and lightweighted. They are large bodies to predefined codes which we can easily add to our own code to solve a specific problem. Yes, okay, that's fit in my co code too. Like he thinks like it, this idea is very nice and he, he can use the framework to, uh, to run his code. Okay. Uh, and then he thinks like after developing the prop application which was developed using framework he found that it ex executed with much higher speed it threw uh, and it, its output was also like it uh, it increased the it, it was fast compared to other application and that were developed without using the framework so that what i mean is like he was thinking in the beginning like there are lots of code to do how can i solve this problem and when he start thinking of java framework then he understand like yeah there is a way we can we can do so much so much code in a very less time in a, with a very efficient way so that's why he used java framework and problem has been solved so the question arises in our mind how java framework come into existence yes so in late 1990s the application were widely developed using jwe standards the promises of j2we was multi platform multi vendor and if you can code according to the j2we standards you can develop deploy your application on any j2we application server irrespective of platforms okay 
running your code on any application server provide you with many benefits like transaction management, messaging, mailing directory, interfaces, etc. But as nothing comes easy in this world, working with J2EE also ha had some difficulties. What are those difficulties? So the difficulties are first of the first difficulty is very complex. Enterprise Java Bean was developed for reducing the complexity in J2EE applications, but it didn't succeed in its aim in implementation. Reason behind it is that while writing a component, it is required to write a set of XML files, home interfaces, remote local interfaces, etc. Other difficulty was lookup problem, problems. Whenever a component depend upon another component, it hard to look up for the components. It depends upon by itself. This component lookup happens only by name. So the name of the dependency was hard coded in the component. And the other thing was heavy weighted. Like all features like clustering, remoting, we were supported, they were supported, but you must configure them, although you need them or not. This will make your application bloated, a heavy, heavy weighted. So now this is how Java framework come into existence. Java framework are nothing but large bodies of predefined code, which you can apply to your own code to solve your problem in a specific domain. You can use a framework by calling its methods, inheritance, by providing callbacks, listeners, or other implementations on the obs observer pattern. So uh, let's understand it through a practical representation. Like here you can see there are a large body of predefined code. And when you have a code, your, your system, you can add your own code with these large, large bodies of predefined code and solve the problem to a specific domain. By this way, you can solve a very complex uh, um, system to a very easy manner and a, a quick and fast way. Because there are so many things already predefined, some libraries, some functionalities, which are predefined in Java frameworks. What we do is we just call in our application and our application, the problem of our application will be solved. Uh, yes, but how exactly they reduce our work and make our codes efficient to understand it go through the following ad, uh, we can go through the following advantages and disadvantages of these framework let's start with the advantages what are the advantages of java frameworks uh, are number one is efficiency so in, in, in what it means tasks that generally take your hours and hundreds of lines of code to compose can now be done in minutes with pre-built functions development becomes a lot easier so if it it's much easier it's much quicker and sub, uh, subsequently more efficient what it mean like as i i said told you in my previous slide like uh, if you have an application and you want some um, extra libraries third party libraries to complete the tasks you can uh, just use um, frameworks and add those things in your program and solve the problem so this is this efficient way you do not need to code whole thing from the beginning from the scratch you can have a predefined libraries predefined functions modules which you can use in your code and efficiently you can reduce the time taken by uh, taken to complete the task the other thing is security an extensively used framework will generally have large security applications. The big benefit is the neighborhood behind the framework where users usually end up being long lasting testing testers. Sorry. If you find a vulnerability or a security hole, you can go 
to the framework's website and let them know so that it can be fixed what it means like security wise uh, um, when we use a large inbuilt security inbuilt systems or frameworks they have already a very support and very uh, they have already created a security uh, uh, on their frameworks so if we use them and if we use them in our pro program or suppose you you got some errors or like some security holes so you can tell them in the uh, uh, you can tell them to the uh, like their websites because frame the the person the developers who create frameworks we can uh, they have their own websites they have their own company you can tell them like uh, we have uh, this problem in your framework so they can fix it out and you can uh, you can have a solve solved and resolved solution okay the other thing is expense most popular structures are complementary and so it helps the developer to code faster yes if the coding is done faster the expensive of the final client will certainly be smaller in every aspect be it time or effort moreover the maintenance cost is also low how like you you know like if you have a very big system you if you have a very big uh, uh, for example um, if you have a uh, very big system where you want to cre create it in a uh, very efficient way and fast way like you want to create it faster so what do you do you you take help from the uh, uh, very uh, very popular java frameworks you can take those um, code and uh, methods and functionality from the framework and make it uh, faster if you make it fast so the cost uh, per employee per developer will be less and that is the cost which is um, which is uh, like if uh, in a big group or big team the most important thing or um, how can i define like uh, if you know if you are if you have been worked in a very big group and then the the expensive the main expensive are developer salary or the uh, or the developer's time time if developers spend more time into the code so more money need to be paid by the companies yeah so if work is uh, 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 if work will be done quicker or faster then less money will be given to the developers like it will be like quick fast solution so less money and that's why on the expense expense perspective it is very less amount of less amount of money we need to spend when we use um, uh, frameworks or architectures okay and support as well this is the very important thing like as any other distributed tools a framework generally include documents a support group a large community online forums where you can acquire quick responses for example you know if you are a developer or you will going to be a developer you know already like there if we use frameworks they have already predefined documents explanation of the classes methods everything they have document maintain so when we stuck in our problem what we need to do with this problem or like when you want some method we you don't know you just go to the documents and look into the documents and support you can ask in the community forum like i have this type of errors how can i solve it and they support you so that is also a very good um, help from them and advantage of using frameworks now we will look into the restrictions what are the restrictions because advantages we have many but we have also a restriction restriction are there are three restrictions uh, there are three disadvantages restriction code is public and custom features so what is restriction the framework's fundamental behavior cannot be changed okay indicating that when you use a framework you are required to re respect its limitations and work the way it is required thus you must ensure that you choose a framework that fits your need yeah so that is that means restriction like uh, for example uh, if you use a java framework for creating some particular functionality uh, for example uh, um, in my previous experience i was using 
uh, web application i was working on a web application where uh, i was using a technology which is little bit old which was little bit old so what was the restriction for that is like uh, those uh, those um, uh, uh, like the the technologies which i was using in my program was old so it cannot compatible with the new frameworks so that was the restriction like if you have uh, if you have old architecture or if you are using a old kind of technology uh, technologies or like if you have a technology which is not compatible with your framework architecture then it will be a problem so in that cases in those cases you you can find a problem or disadvantage of a framework uh, and the other thing is code is public so uh, code is public means since framework is readable avail readably available to everyone it is also offered to people with bad intention it can be studied in order to know how things work and to discover flaws that can be utilized against you like uh, yeah so if uh, you know that libraries or frameworks we are using in our exam our, our system they are and their their documents their explanation the classes all are public so you can google it on uh, internet and you find everything so that is a little bit disadvantage but anyhow if you work in a system and create a system with uh, by using the framework but you, the logic will be yours you, you there are many restrictions security in your framework so it can be some in some extent it can be uh, like avoid uh, we can help our system to become public okay another thing another uh, at disadvantage are custom custom features so when you are making use of framework you know very little about the language behind it because the features in it are custom built when you use custom built features it's very likely that you have no use of them according to the framework standard which may differ from original concept so this is the disadvantages of um, uh, frameworks now uh what you know like advantages and dis disadvantages of framework i i think you understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of frameworks so you can choose your own framework according to the um according to your need so i will show you one diagram where there are many frameworks like jsf start spring hibernate maven and play so there are many kind of frameworks in java but the most popular framework is spring so in this tutorial i have started from frameworks because you need to know the ba background behind frameworks that's why i have explained what is framework but now i will start what is spring so um uh, why we use spring what is spring so there are many frameworks but we we will discuss in our videos in series spring about spring okay so what is a spring framework here the question arises what is spring framework spring framework is a powerful lightweight application development framework used for enterprise java okay so how uh, what it means like the core feature of spring framework can be used in developing any java application it can be described as complete and modular framework the spring framework can be used for all layer implementation of a real time application it can also be used for development of layers of a real time application and like struts hibernates but with spring we can develop all layers what what it mean uh so i will explain you in the architecture what it means but uh, uh, that uh, in the definition wise you know what is uh, spring what is all about spring but how how it was developed and where uh, and and the and what is the story behind it so let took a, let let's take a glance of the spring framework history so history behind spring is in october 2002 rod johnson an australian computer scientist wrote a book like expert 121 j to w e design and development in his book he proposed a similar solution based on ordinary java class pozo 
and dependency injection. He wrote over 30,000 lines of infrastructure code which includes several reusable Java interfaces and classes for developing the application. Around February 2003, Rod Yorin and Jan started collaborating on the Spring project and the name Spring was given as in, as it means a fresh start after winter of a traditional J2EE. So this is a little bit uh, history about Spring. I wanted to tell you like it, 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 it tell you in this uh, video so you know we are reading Spring, we are learning Spring. So what is all about Spring? Like what is the history about Spring? So uh, that's why I added this slide. Okay. So why Spring Framework? Why we use Spring Framework? I have answered what is Spring Framework. Now I will explain you why, sorry, why we use Spring Framework. Because it's fast development, pre-built code, easy integration with third party, accumulate UI constant in efficient performance. So fast development I have explained already like uh, if you uh, if you have a pre-built code you can add in your code directly and just uh, uh, in a few a few minutes or like a less time you can build your code very easily. Uh, easy integration with third party because framework allow the integration between third party very easily they can there are many ways to integrate third party um, uh, tools to your uh, to your code very easily by spring framework uh, by dependencies we can add dependencies jar files so there are many ways to add dependency in the spring framework Accumulate UI constraints, efficient performance, like efficient because this is a very standard framework. Its performance are very efficient. They are very efficient. Okay. So reason for Spring Framework popularity. What are the reasons of Spring Framework popularity? Why it's popular? Yeah, it's popular because it's simple, testable and loose coupling. These three points are most important. I will explain in detail what is simplicity, what is testability and what is loose coupling. So let's start with simplicity. Spring framework is simple because it's non-invasive as it uses POJO, POJI models. What is POJO? Uh, let's see, plain ops, old Java object. POJO tells for, calls for plain old Java objects. A Java class not coupled with any technology or any framework is called POZO. POZOs are simply a class where we, we use some getters and setters uh, to uh, set a values for the particular object. Setting or getting values for the particular object. Same as uh, plain object, plain old Java interfaces. So interfaces that are not coupled with any technology or any framework. It's the same as interfaces like those interfaces which are not coupled with other not those are not independent to other uh, uh, those are posy i will explain all the things in code perspective as well but this is a theory video because i want to explain theoretically i want to explain you what is all these concepts that's why i'm explaining in uh, theory by theory but i will in my next series i will explain you in the in the uh, practical approach i will use a practically uh, I will explain everything to you as well. Okay, testability. For writing the Spring application, server is not mandatory. But for struts and EJP application, you need a server. If you want to test application, so it may need a lot of changes in the source and to view those changes, each time you must start the server. Like uh, it, and so you know that in the other uh, other um, technologies like Strut and EJB, if you want uh, to run an app web application, you want a server. Yes, and but in Spring Framework, you do not need a server. It's it has its own container. Like in servers, they have a container, web container, which uh, which uh, uh, process your code. But in Spring Framework, there are they have their own container to process their code. So that's why we can run uh, standalone Spring applications, uh, Spring Framework applications, and we do not need uh, server configuration. So uh, loose coupling, in simple words, loose coupling means they are mostly independent. If, for example, you have a class topic, uh, sorry, interface topic, 
and uh, you have a class topic one which implements the class uh, interface topic okay and because topic interface uh, it, um, have a understand method so uh, in the topic one we can implement this understand method according to the topic one and we can here in the topic two class we can uh, implement the method topic uh, understand according to the topic two so what it means like they are loosely coupled with each other and uh, uh, it uh, so how how they are loosely coupled so topic one and topic two objects are loosely coupled it means like topic is an interface and we can inject any of the implemented class at runtime and we can provide service to the end user like i hope you understand this like topic is an interface okay by using the topic we can implement any kind of understand method and uh, uh, so that um, uh, like it is not tightly covered like it should be governed or it should be understand we can uh, we can implement this understand method any any kind of uh, understand method in any kind of topics so that is a loose coupling we we are not dependent fully we can we can choose our own choice so uh, so by this way in the subject class for example here uh, we we go the we do the we use the reference of topic interface and uh, we three we call a method uh, class we call object of topic one class and then uh, the the t dot understand we can call the understand method here by t object and it will uh, it will um, uh, uh, print in the uh, in the console got it because we are reference uh, referring to topic one so by topic uh, interface by the use of topic interface we have loosely coupled the understand methods we we can use any kind of understand method uh, by using this interface so i hope you understand this explanation and so in order to overcome the problems of tight coupling between objects spring framework use uses dependency injection mechanism with the help of poso and posi models through dependency injection it possible to achieve loose coupling okay so i hope you understand this loose coupling concept here but uh, i will explain this things in the better so that's it for today and i hope you enjoy this video and you understand what is spring framework what what is java framework what are the advantages and disadvantages and you have learned why we use java frameworks and spring frameworks and why we use these technologies in our in our programming and how fast and quick and advantageous those technologies are so in my next video i as as i said i will explain the spring framework architecture in detail so hope you enjoy the video and you will um, please subscribe my channel if you forget to subscribe and if you are new please subscribe my channel so that you can watch my all videos when i post uh, um, and uh, yeah you get notifications so thank you for this video and uh, thank you for today and see you next in next video bye bye